What's up y'all? Today we're going to talk about my top 10 keyboard shortcuts for Final Cut Pro. Hey, my name is Danny Bull. I'm a cameraman for the BBC. Over the last 10 years I filmed in the Amazon and the Himalayas, from the Rohingya crisis in Bangladesh to the protests in Hong Kong. I hope to share here some of the tips and tricks I've learned over the years. All right, so keyboard shortcuts. Um, this is the tool that's gonna help me edit the fastest when I'm on a tight deadline. Uh, if you guys like this video, please like and subscribe below. I'd appreciate it, it's gonna help me grow the channel and I'll keep making more of these videos for you all. All right, so this is a project I got open. It's for my podcast called Beyond the News. We're interviewing journalists about their experiences in the field. I've got uh, three different cameras working here. Uh, camera myself, we have the two shot and then we have one of our subject. In this case, it's Adriel. Okay, so I am gonna do, start with my favorite editing tool, which is Command-Shift-B. Command-Shift-B cuts through all your clips wherever your playhead is. So I'll do Command-Shift-B. And you'll see that now there's a cut right here. All right, so let's say I wanna have a space in there cause I'm gonna insert a clip into that section. I like to do create a gap. This tool is just Option W. And now you have a gap in there. Okay, and I can move that gap out just so I know that there's a space. And then I can work on another section. Number three, Command-4. So Command-4 brings up our, uh, our inspector. We can see what we have on our clips here. If there are any effects on it, we can see where that's applied. We can crop and we can uh, change the position of this video clip. Okay. Most importantly, it's where our color correction is. If you want to learn more about color correction, check out the video here. Okay, number four, Command-7 brings up our video scope. So here's where I'm going to go to do most of my color correction. I can bring up my, my lights and darks. And I can just uncheck this to see before and after. Okay, number five. So I've already got this one on right now, but it's uh, the snapping tool. So I'll just hit N and I'll turn it on and off. You can see that right here on and off now when it's off i don't really have any control exactly where i'm i, I want to find this area here where i've already made a a slice it's not gonna it's not gonna line up exactly there so when i turn on n it's gonna stop me right there it's gonna stop me right where i made my cut number six control option up arrow and down arrow this will allow me to see what's actually happening here on the timeline. So up arrow, now I can see I have the audio and I can make that audio waveform larger. So I can look in and find exactly where I wanna make my cuts. Now that I can see my audio waveform, number seven. So I'm just gonna select my audio and I can do control plus or minus. That's gonna raise or lower the volume of that audio clip. Okay, number eight this one i'm playing through so i can hit m because i know i like that part but i don't want to edit right now and that'll create a marker now i can double click that marker and i can say talking about bangkok now now i can reference that marker later on okay number nine now this one was really important to me it saves me a lot if, when i'm scrubbing i can hear and see the video at the same time as I'm skimming the timeline, I can hear the video and I can see the video as I'm skimming. So to turn this on and off, it's very simple. All it is is S, S. But when that's not on, if I'm moving my mouse on the playhead, I'm not seeing anything. As soon as I turn that on, I can start to see the video in real time. Number 10 is to group them or make a new compound clip. I'm gonna select all my audio and group them. So to group them, I can select what I want. I'm gonna hit option G and I'll get new compound clip name. I'll change that to audio or in whatever case it might be. It might be all your graphics, however it's going to be for your own compound clip. Now I have all my audio in one compound clip and it's just cleaned up my project, cleaned up my timeline. All right. Thanks a lot, y'all. Um, if you enjoyed this video, uh, please like and subscribe. It'll help me out. It'll help me grow the channel and continue making content like this for you guys. Okay, peace.